The ditching time may finally be here. What's up guys, we're back with the latest Samsung news. Samsung XAMD is happening and it may be the eventual end of Qualcomm. Just the other day, for the first time, we talked about the release date of AMD GPU, which according to Ice Universe is happening in the month of June. As for the Exynos processor that will be paired with this GPU, we have some amazing news on that. Out comes the Exynos 2200 with AMD GPU rumored to come in the second half of this year. This is a huge news report by South Korean media. According to the report, Samsung could be bringing their Exynos 2200 chip with AMD GPU inside their laptops. In case you don't know, Qualcomm has its root in a lot of Samsung products, not just phones. Some of Samsung's recent laptops are using Qualcomm chips, the Snapdragon 8CX series, which Qualcomm likes to call always on, always connected. It is coming in a bunch of other laptops as well. For the laptop chips, Samsung is either relying on Qualcomm or Intel. But after what Apple did by completely changing the game, when they introduced their own M1 chip. Based on ARM architecture, Samsung now realizes that they actually don't need these third-party companies, they need their own solution. Which is why Samsung could be bringing their Exynos 2200 chip with AMD GPU on a laptop for the first time, slowly ditching Qualcomm and eventually, they might do the same thing with their smartphones. Not too long ago, Korean media reported that Samsung will be ditching chargers and Qualcomm eventually, I even made a video about it. One of those things have happened yet, which is of course the chargers, but the second part of that news could happen in the long term. Now speaking of future, Samsung is moving mad when it comes to their camera sensors. They just announced their ISL GN1, which is the world's largest smartphone sensor as of now. But they are not stopping at that. Ice Universe has leaked even more sensors that Samsung is planning to release this year. Very soon, in Q2 of 2021, Samsung will be announcing the ISL cell 200 megapixel sensor with 0.64 micrometer pixel size. This is going to be the biggest megapixel count on any smartphone sensor, truly breaking the boundary. We don't know the actual working and how the 200 megapixel images will be processed but it is coming and in q3 we're going to be seeing isocell rgbw sensor the isocell rgbw sensor is using a brand new color filter array and what this means is that it could bring significantly more light than a conventional rgb sensor and even more light about 20 percent more light than huawei's ryyb sensor we've heard in the past that vivo has developed this sensor so when Samsung does it, of course, they're going to take this to a next level. This all sounds super exciting. I really, really hope that at least one of these sensors end up on Samsung's own phone. But considering their track record, Xiaomi and Vivo will be the one adopting these for the first time. And eventually something will end up on Samsung's own flagship in the future, perhaps with the Fold 3 or perhaps with the Galaxy S22. And if you thought all of this is crazy, Samsung is literally trying to compete with human eye because in the future, they want to make a 600 megapixel sensor. We talked about this before. They actually posted this on their official website. So it's not a rumor. It is actually officially happening some point in the future. Not just 600 megapixel sensor, but lesser than that, like 500 megapixel or 400 megapixel. It sounds really, really crazy, but I'm not surprised. Samsung is a crazy company. You can pretty much tell by the article. They're trying to rival the human eye. Anyways, that's all for today. Samsung XAMD moving mad. We're going to be seeing this on the laptops. Ditching Qualcomm and Intel on their laptops and eventually possibly on their smartphones in the future. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for daily news and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.